One of the most frequently asked questions about sims you share after you've gotten the basic idea of putting smoke and fire is how to do walk-arounds. So for example in this situation, let's say we're looking at side A. You'll see the walk-around here. How do you get this arrow panel up here? And the most important thing about, about this arrow panel is that these arrows are not fixed locations. So for example, this left arrow, when you're looking at it from side A, you'll see the left arrow goes to Bravo and when we're now at the Bravo side, the left arrow goes to Charlie. We've set that up. The left arrow will go to Delta. So we're doing our walk around. A lot of times people assume that these arrows are fixed position. For example, the bottom being A, the top being C. But as you'll notice, the way to think about adding your locations is that the arrows correspond to which direction we would go if we're looking at the current picture. So here we're at Charlie. Going right would go to Bravo and at Bravo going right we go back to Alpha. What we're going to do in this video is show you how to set up these locations. So here in Alpha we go forward into the interior and we can come back out to Alpha or if we go forward and then forward again we head out to Charlie. So let's take a look at how to actually set up this navigation. First I'm going to go into a scenario that has those five locations already in it. So if we go here, we're in our initial location, you'll see using our location menu that we have initial location, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Garage. Now people may want to know, okay, we're editing initial location. Let me change that to side A. It's easier to remember than initial location. So I'm going to go here and say rename and say instead of initial location, I'm going to call it side A. Say yes. Okay, now to set up the navigation from side A, we use the location menu and say set navigation. Now by default, here's the arrows that we need to set up. Now a lot of things that confuse people as well is they don't see alpha side over here. What we have to do is read this whole slide. At the top of it says set navigation for side A. So imagine we're at side A. This list over here is the destination. So there's no reason that side A would be in the destination because we're already at side A. So what we want to do is we say click on an arrow to set that direction. So from side A we're going to go left and then it says choose the destination. Well left from side A goes to Bravo. Again the key thing here isn't that Bravo is on that side. It's that we're at side A and going left takes us to Bravo. Similarly if we were thinking about Delta right is going to take us to Delta. And then we're done. That gives us our A, a Delta, and let's actually say forward here is going to go into the garage. Now what this reciprocal navigation is doing for us here when we say yes is automatically when we say left goes to Bravo, automatically it's making an arrow backwards that's saying when we're at Bravo go right back to Alpha. So we're going to see that. So if we now hit done here and go over to our Bravo and now if we go and set the navigation for Bravo, we'll see here that automatically it has added the right arrow goes back to Alpha. We don't have to put that in because the reciprocal navigation was set to yes and it automatically did that. So that's going to help us with our walk around. But now we're imagining that we're at the Bravo side. We're setting navigation for Bravo. So right was going to Alpha. Left, we're going to now have continue the circuit to go around to Charlie. Now I'm going to hit done and now I'm going to go over to the Charlie side. You really you can do these in any order but I'm just going to walk around. We're at Charlie side now. I'm going to go here and set navigation and the reciprocal navigation was responsible when we set it at Bravo. Going left from Bravo to Charlie it automatically added right from Charlie back to Bravo so I don't have to put that in. I only need to now complete the circuit by saying left goes to Delta. Again, it's very important. We're at the Charlie side. Left goes to Delta. Right goes to Bravo. And really you can set up any of these arrows the way that you want it. But that's just a convention, left and right. So now when I'm done here, if I go back now, or if I actually go over to the Delta side and I set navigation, we're going to see that Delta, we're at Delta, set navigation, both left and right are already set. We didn't set those before. That happened as a result of the reciprocal navigation. 
So typically you're going to want to have this in here. One reason you may not want to have reciprocal navigation might be if you had a arrival location, you wanted someone to go from the arrival to the circuit around the building. And in that situation, you may not want them to return back to the initial location. You might want them just to go A, B, C, and D. But notice here that we don't actually have to set up left and right. It was done for us automatically. And so now, when we actually run our scenario, happens to be we're at delta here, we get our nice loop. A goes to alpha. If we wanted to go to the garage, forward is going to take us back. And left goes to Bravo. We're at Bravo. Left goes to Charlie. We're at Charlie. Left goes to Delta. And we're basically done with this loop, assuming that we only have one way into this garage. What you saw in the beginning was actually a little more complex, allowing us to go into the garage from Charlie, but that's for another time. So I hope we've sh shown you how this works in terms of setting the navigation, being which arrow takes us to which location for whatever we're currently looking at. So you can really set up the arrows however you want. You don't have to use left, right, or forward, but those are the most convenient and easily uh, described as convention. If your pictures actually show going off to the right, up to the right, you can use that the upper arrow to take you over there. It doesn't have to be. So hope this has helped you. Please uh, answer, uh, give us any questions that you may have in our forum or add a um, question um, into our community area if we can help explain things any further.